Anya with Dream Crew, and I want to welcome you to this Tell Me More opportunity about One Hope. I am going to introduce you to our team members, and we're all going to share a little bit about One Hope. I'm going to start off with Megan, who is an SCE with One Hope. Megan, can you tell us a little bit about One Hope? I would love to. Um, so about 10 years ago, our CEO, Jake, and several of his awesome friends who we consider our founders got together. Um, they really wanted to um, incorporate a give back with wines, but they learned quickly that they couldn't just put labels on bottles of wine saying, oh, this bottle of wine from a different winery gives to a specific cause. They learned they had to brand themselves. They had to find a way to make themselves stand out. They had to find a way to partner with different nonprofits and causes all around, not just the California and Napa Valley area, but all over the globe that would make an impact and that they could partner with so that other people could learn not only about those causes, but also about this new winery. Um, so in time, they've built up with their own winemaker, our own Mari Coyle. And then in addition to that, they also have um, the amazing Mondavi family, Michael Mondavi. And with partnering with such awesome winemakers and such great names, our winery in the past 10 years has come from a small winery to a handful of CEs, which is what we are. I'm speaking like a New Yorker. I'm going very fast since I'm nervous. I'm going to slow it down. <laughs> um, so this past year, they even rebranded now that we have a winery in Napa. We want to not only have this in-home experience for our CEs, but we want it to be all that it can, even with a Napa Valley experience. The perks of the in-home business, um, fortunately and unfortunately, we've been able to continue working through all of this. We've been able to do events when other events are shut down. We can do virtual fundraisers. We can do virtual parties, virtual events. And most of all, we can just share the, we can be the voice for these nonprofits. We can share how to give back in a time where getting together and giving back has not been easy. Wow. All right. You know, that's so powerful because you're right. In, in a time where a lot of industries and a lot of businesses stopped and had to pause, one hope is to keep on going. So I'm actually mm -hmm. curious, Maria, do you want to kind of share how long you've been with one hope and what was it about this that you were like, you know what, I would like to join this, this company. I want to be part of an impact making team. And how has the past year been for you? I have been with One Hope for a little over a year. And um, I was with two other wine companies actually previous. One that I really enjoyed, but it went out of business. And so I was recruited to a new one that just wasn't my cup of tea. Um, I just couldn't get into it there was just something that I just couldn't make the sales. It was expensive. I couldn't ask my friends to sit there and purchase something that I really didn't enjoy. Um, and I started looking through um, here in the Napa area, there is a magazine called the juice. And in there, I saw one hope. And I started researching and looking through everything and their impact in the community. And I gave my notice to the other company and joined up and was put on to Kaz A Lot's team. And I mean, I've not even looked back since. I it's been amazing. I I feel like it's even been better than the first company that I was with that has just, I mean, I'm, I'm one that loves to work with nonprofits and raise money and COVID basically just put an ax on that. And this has helped me with my passion for wine and for giving that it's, it's unspeakable, unspeakable. 
and I love it. Maria, I didn't realize that about your journey. We are so lucky that you found your way to us through a magazine. Wow. Yeah. It's a it's an online, it's called The Juice, and it talks about all the different wineries throughout California. And wow. I seen one hope and I just, you know, the the inspiration just it was zero to none. I mean, just I I fell in love with it and I mean it I still am. I mean, I love the wine. I love everything about it. It's just, it's amazing. So as you guys all know, so. Yeah, so, you know, for those that are watching us now, clearly you can see we are passionate about what we do. There's a lot of gift back that we get to do for the nonprofits. Um, but you might be wondering, okay, so I get to talk about wine, but what does your day look like? What is it that we do? So I'm going to ask Lori to kind of let us, like enter your world what do you do when you share one hope what does your day look like and if someone's thinking about you know i want to join one hope what can they expect in terms of what does my job look like okay um well i primarily um run my business through doing uh fundraisers for nonprofits. so i basically um spend some time reaching out to causes that are important to me, which is dog rescue. Um, once I, you know, get a, a few rescues on board, I'll set up a fundraiser for them on Facebook. And uh, the fundraisers run a couple weeks. Um, I basically in the mornings, I like brainstorm about what I want to post each day um, on my pages. Um, I, I basically go through like steps that I do each day. I do that first. Then I, um, check the shipping and make sure everybody's shipping went through and make sure they got the right wine and they're happy with it since we have a happiness guarantee. Um, what else would I do? Um, I would do some reach outs to try to uh, get the word out about the opportunity. I'm trying to build my team right now. Uh, what else do I do? Um, constantly reaching out for more nonprofits. I had um, seven fundraisers so far this month that are coming to an end. So I wanted, I'd like to have 10 is my goal each month, uh, mostly animal rescue, but I would love to do any uh, fundraiser for anybody's cause, but that's the cause important to me. So that's who I reach out to when I'm reaching out. And so I actually spent the last three days just sending uh, emails out. So after three days, I uh, got a yes. I started one today. I have one gallon right now. That's why I keep looking at my phone <laughs> and I have two more to start tonight and tomorrow so well, but I, I hit my 10. <laughs> congratulations thank so you so it sounds like okay right now in a virtual world we host virtual events all right I can copy and paste I can do that but I bet a lot of those that are interested in opportunity are wondering how much do I need to know about wine do I need to know a lot can I do this will I be like will there be a team helping me what kind of training do you have Marie, what has your experience been in terms of the support within the company, the team members, and do you really need to be a wine expert? Well, you definitely don't have to be a sommelier to do this thing, but um, if you love wine, I think you're already pretty good at it. <laughs> I think it's part of it. No, I do like the, the back office and the training and the things you can go through. So, uh, and what I also like, there's a few virtual events that I did is since you have on the bottles in the back, you know, more of the description, so you can go through that. And it was very informal, the ones I did. And uh, so, and not everybody likes the same thing and you don't react to the same wine the same way. Um, so uh, as far as knowing to be like, uh, you know, yeah, you I think if you enjoy the wines and you read about it and you go through the training we have in the back office, I think you're okay. I mean, granted, you can always reach out to somebody if you have a specific question. And so far, everybody has been very helpful when I ask questions. So, uh, no, if you don't know much about wine, that should be a reason for not joining or not becoming a CEO. You're, that's true. Absolutely. And you're right. The back of the bottle will tell you everything that you need to know. Now, I want to introduce Kristen to you and I hope her internet connection is going to work. 
Uh, Kristen is in Fast Start. So when you join One Hope, you have this opportunity to grow your business and earn bonuses. And Kristen so far has earned every single bonus um, that was available to her. So Kristen, I would like to, first of all, ask you two questions. One is, what was it about One Hope that you were like, yes, I would like to do this? And what tips do you have for someone who will say yes to the opportunity? What do you think they should do their first 30 days? Oh, what made me say yes? Um, I was actually, I found first time ever, I don't know, I think God sent it to me, the ad for One Hope on Facebook. And I said, huh, let me, let me look it up. You know, and I, I looked into it and I, I uh, joined that day. <laughs> I, I don't think I waited. I joined that day um, because I said, well, I love wine and this sounds like a really great opportunity. I've never done sales. Let me try it. So that worked. And then as far as, you know, st I, I don't know what the formula is. I just followed what everyone told me to do. That is the only thing I did was follow what Anya said. Um, and I did it. I don't know how I did it. Every time I turned around, it was like bonus, bonus. Oh no! I would say just oh. stick with your tribe. Stick with someone who can keep you accountable. But... Did I go out again? You do. You, you yes, but then you come back. But you're yeah. right. Have a. She have... comes back at the perfect time. She does, <laughs> and she's like accountability <laughs> is what. And then just keep doing what people tell you to do. Absolutely, and. <laughs> Um, so you're, you're, you're right. I mean, it comes down to, we have systems, we have the training. Um, you're not going to be alone. Um, uh, we have amazing bonuses available. So you might be wondering, okay, this sounds all great. I get to raise money for nonprofits, whatever you're passionate about, right? Pet shelters or cancer organizations, food banks. Um, but you might be also wondering, well, how much do I have to invest and how do I join? So, Megan, I'm going to let you answer that question. That question. All righty, I'm ready. Um, so, obviously, there are several ways nowadays that we make it possible for you to join. I don't have the papers with the exact numbers in front of me, so I'm going to go ahead. I got Perfect. you. Keep talking. I just got this. Okay. I got you. So <laughs> Um, the first way that you can join is currently having a virtual kit with the way everything's going in the world. Um, most of us are only doing online events. Of course, there are areas throughout the United States that are doing in-person events. And if that is your cup of tea and you are in an area where that's possible, more power to you. But for those of us who are at home, the virtual kit is an awesome way to sign on for $29 you get a $21 um, credit when you sign on and you can use that credit for your purchase of your first four pack to your door. Um, in addition to that, because our leadership team is so awesome and they realize the power of rewards, you can earn within your first two weeks of Fast Start a six, a case, half case of wine for and so many people who have taken advantage of that rock star bonus. Um, so even if you've never tasted the wine, which is how Anya and I both got started, Anya four years ago, myself uh, three years ago, we both started without tasting the wine. So it's totally possible nowadays and in the future to do that. In addition, we have options in our starter kit for $149. If you want to upgrade that to $199, it will include reserve bottles of wine in addition to, so five reserve bottles of one Hope Wine, One Glitter Sparkling Brute, and six bottles of Vintner Collection Wine. Again, we have the $29, $149, $199. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to ask Maria this question. I'm, I'm going to jump around. Maria, <laughs> $149 and the $199. Do you earn commission on that? Oh, yes, you do. You earn commission on on any wine, even on your own kits. Which how so, amazing is that? You get to start your business and you earn money back. Uh, back to Megan, my second question is, outside of this, is there any other investment that you maybe pay yearly in order to be with One Hope? 
Yes. So you're still going to pay your website fee. They offer that you can pay it all up front, the fee, or you can pay it monthly. You can split it down, pay it monthly. And just for reaching your goals of selling $300 worth of wine each month, you're going to get um, perks back to your account. But you figure you're making that $10 or $12 investment fee each month for your website. And in return, you can get a couple bottles of wine as a perk for doing, honestly, the minimum. Like you're doing $300 and it's what's expected of you. But for so many of us, it's awesome that we can reach above that. Absolutely. And if you think about it, what I wanted to leave everyone with, so you're watching this video because someone sent it to you and said, you know what? I think you would be great with this One Hope journey. I wanted to share just a couple of places that you can go to read a little bit more about us. So this One Hope Wine that come impact. This page talks about the give back we do because each of our wines helps the community. So our purpose is really to help the future, to make the world a little better. I love the statement that wine brings people together to gather, to grieve, to celebrate. Okay. How powerful is that? And then when you scroll down, you're going to see this amazing, this, they update this, but this talks about $6 million dollars one Hope was able to give to the nonprofits simply because someone decided to purchase wine through One Hope. We have helped to fund meals for children. How about this? Plant an entire forest in Indonesia. Your wine, does it help? I don't know. One Hope, it does. And the fact that we're able to build schools in Guatemala, how incredible. The other resource here, and I invite you to go on this page and research, is this impact. Depending on what you're passionate about, you can click on animals and see that almost 84,000 pets have found a forever home simply because of our wine. You can click on veterans and see how many veterans we have helped um, for uh, volunteer purposes and sense of purpose. You can click on the community, for instance, and see that we have helped 11,000 local nonprofits through our events. This is so powerful. If school is something that's important to you, check out Pencils of Promise. This is January special. We are so fortunate to be in a position to help the community simply because someone invites us to have an event and you purchase the wine and we're able to do that. So I am just very grateful for the fact that you took the time to watch this video. Um, I'm going to let Maria... And um, I'll let you do the closing. Thank you. What I also wanted to add to that too, Anya, was that um, the commission that you make on your on selling, you know, or just from your um, your pat your you know starter kit will pay for your twelve dollars a month. You can use that you know, towards it because you're getting it as a commission check. That's, that's money that's in your pocket. But if you pay it all up front, that's a $45 savings for the year mm -hmm. as well. So it's worth it either way, if you can, or if you can't, but if somebody's on a very limited budget in the meantime, $12 is great. And the 29 virtual and use the $21 right now to get your you know, your wine, I mean. And you can always change. So you can join with the monthly website and then two or four months down the road, you can go yearly. Exactly. And then it'll start the year from the date that you well, pay the yearly. Who has a glass? Mine's almost empty. But if you have a glass, let's do a toast to everyone watching this. We invite mine's you on empty. this journey. I know mine's like almost. We mine invite is. you on the journey. It would be incredible to have you as part of our team of impact makers. Cheers to your journey. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.